and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called OMZ, or Oh My Zombies, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I suppose. And in the game, you're basically stuck in a town that is now overrun with zombies. And the only way to get us to escape is to get through checkpoints, use your safe zones, and get past seven different areas of, of the game. If you can do that, you're safe. And if not, you're going to be eaten by zombies, which is no good. The game plays three to six players, takes about 20 to 35 minutes to play the game, and it's for ages 12 and up. It's a pretty simple style game, which is just going to be drawing a card on your turn, and as an action you can choose to draw an extra card, play a card from your hand, or play a card from the field to your opponents. There's zombies that will stay in play in front of you that do mean things, and then there are cards that you're going to be able to play that kind of mess with the zombies and mess with your opponents. Additionally in the game, you're going to get checkpoints and safe houses. Getting seven checkpoints is how you win, but safe houses protect your checkpoints. People can't mess with your checkpoints if you have safe houses, and that's an important thing to do in this game. You can play the rush strategy, or you can play the slow and steady strategy, depending on how you want to do it, and nevertheless, if you hit those seven, you're going to win. All right, that's the idea of the game. Let's go ahead and show you down below how OMZ plays, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. So here we have the game OMZ and everything included. Now, it's basically a box and a deck of cards cards here, but there are different types of cards in the game. For instance, you're going to get cards like this, which are going to be checkpoint cards, and you're going to get cards like this, which are safe house cards. When you're playing down checkpoints, you're going to want to protect them with safe cards, and that is because players are going to play cards like zombies on you. Zombies are actually dangerous cards because they'll stay in front of you until they're either destroyed or until they have been moved to another player, and they do different things, usually they're passive abilities that will affect you throughout the game. You're also going to get things like the Golden Goose, which is a card that you can actually play on cards that are on your field that will stay there as long as they are uh, protected by that card. And then you get cards like Stampede. This one here says remove one card from any player's zone. These are basically take that action cards that will affect your player in some way or another player in some way. You have the Deny cards, which basically stop players from playing cards. And then you're going to have these cards here, like Turn the Table and Pass the Bacon, things that allow you move zombies and whatnot. To begin the game, all you're going to do is have each player draw five cards one two three four five and then to start the game you're going to have a first player draw a card and then do an action the action can be to place a card down in their field or they can choose to draw an additional card or they can move a zombie from one area of theirs to another opponent's after they've done that the next player gets to go and the game continues up until the point where somebody gets seven checkpoints so let's go ahead and show you down below a couple turns of play and then we'll come up and i'll tell you what i think about it so here we have OMZ, and we're going to show you just a two-player game to give you an idea of how it plays. You are going to start with your five cards here, and I'll start with my five cards here, so you can see what cards you have. Over here will be your play area, this will be my play area here, and we'll go for a couple turns to show you how it functions. So you'll start the game by drawing one card, and then you're going to go ahead and play any card you want. We'll just start with a basic one, which is going to be a checkpoint. Checkpoint is going to give you plus one to your score, and if you hit seven, you win the game. After you've played a card, that's going to end your turn my turn. Remember, you get seven cards total in your hand until you have to start discarding. All right, so I just drew a card here, and I'm going to play a Mini Mart, which is a checkpoint as well. Let's place it like that for you. Now it's your turn. You're going to go ahead and draw a card here. you got a Gatling gun. So this one here says, remove a zombie from a, a, any player's zone. This one over here is steal a, one card randomly from any player's hand and add it to yours at the start of your turn. Interesting. Another bomb shelter, and a steel card and a plane wreck. So we're going to go ahead and play a bomb shelter. Now, this is an interesting rule in the game, is when you have two of the same card next to each other that will give you an extra action to play something so i will go ahead and play something like steal and it says steal a card randomly from any player's hand and add it to yours so i'm going to go ahead and shuffle my hand you're going to steal a card from me and you're going to gain that card this card will get started now it is my turn i'm going to go ahead and draw a card here and i'm going to play a zombie thrasher on you this is going to go right in front of your play area which means he says you cannot have more than three checkpoints in your route and you remove excess checkpoints so if you get any more checkpoints points in three you're in trouble but it's now your turn you're going to go ahead and draw a card and luckily you have this remove a zombie from the play zone so you can actually get rid of my zombie thrasher making it easier for you to uh play down more checkpoints my turn i'm going to go ahead and draw a card and i got a bomb shelter i bet you wish you had that and that will end my turn you're going to just keep going just like that and the objective is to get all the way to seven 
Uh, there are other cards in here, like you know, letting you steal stuff, or this one letting you move zombies around, as well as one I want to show you, like this one here. This is called a safe house, and if you play that one down, that protects all of your checkpoints previous to it. Players can't destroy checkpoints when there's a safe house guarding them this way. However, if you played a checkpoint over here, this one is actually up for destruction. So that is kind of how that works. And basically, you can kind of push your luck as to how far you want to go with your checkpoints up until you want to play your safe house. And don't forget, zombies have an additional as aspect. Well, on your turn, normally what you're going to do is draw a card and play a card here, but you're also able to play a card from your tableau and move it to your opponents. This one here says you can't escape even if you have a safe house and you're out. So you can actually spend, you can draw a card and then play this card over here in my territory, thusly making it so that I can't escape uh, even if I have a safe house in my route. So that is a card that I have to either eventually get rid of or you have to get rid of, or it can be back, passed back and forth. But remember, that's going to cost you turns and just allow you to draw those cards. Uh, and there's also some other unique things here. Uh, there's the different types of checkpoints that will give you additional uh, abilities, uh, additional chance to uh, play additional turns. You'll be able to draw cards and discard cards. There's every unique zombie in here. All the zombies are unique and all of them do different things. Like your hand is visible to all players at all times. Uh, a forced retreat, remove the last card from any player's route. And that includes safe houses. If they say card, that means card, not just checkpoints. But that's the idea of the game. If you can pull off all the checkpoints you need, so there's four, five, six, and seven, if you can get all these bad boys down in a row, and at the beginning of your turn, as soon as you play that card down, you're going to win the game. And if I can do it, then I will win the game. Then you get the idea of OMZ. Let's come up and talk about it. So let's begin by talking about OMZ, or Oh My Zombies. Well, first of all, this is a take that card game, but it also has a little, little bit of tableau management. By that I mean you're gonna be placing down checkpoints and then placing down safe houses, playing zombies on your opponents, or pushing stuff that you don't like off of your board. Additionally, there's some interesting cards. They're little wand cards, they're these little pink and orange ones. They do stuff like allowing you to place them on cards in front of you on your tableau, like draw an additional card at the start of your turn. This lasts until it is removed, so you can draw two cards instead of one. It's very powerful. Blessed Charm, stack this card over a zombie to cancel its effects. Uh, Robot Arm, steal uh, one card randomly from any player's hand and add it to yours at the start of the turn. So that. Wow, that's mean. Priest, place this card on a checkpoint. Now it becomes a safe house in addition to it being a checkpoint. Those are really cool cards and they're very useful and they're very powerful to their own extent, but they don't have you actually win the game. It just kind of progresses you in the game. All the zombies are unique as well, which is pretty cool. There's stuff like Zombie Shaman. All of your checkpoints are now plus zero as opposed to one or two. The Clown, you can't have more than four cards in your hand at the end of your turn. Zombie King, if he hits your field, he's gonna remove all your safe houses and you can't place them down. Zombie Pilot, if he gets destroyed in front of you, you lose two checkpoints. The Spirit means you can't win as long as he's in front of you, and the Wizard means that your hand is visible for as long as he's in front of you as well. The Zombie Thrasher says you can't have more than three checkpoints. So these zombies are not good. You don't want them in front of you, they're gonna hinder your play. And it's kind of interesting because in the game, you're basically going to be trying to gather the seven checkpoints, but also making sure that everybody else is staying far behind you in checkpoints. You could choose to uh, draw extra cards on your turn or push cards away, but that is going to significantly reduce the amount of stuff in front of you that you want to have. Now also safe houses, right? They don't actually give you pluses, but they protect cards behind it, which is an important aspect. It has a feel of pushing your luck, even though it's kind of a family take that style card game with a little bit of tableau management. It has that push your luck because if you don't play your safe houses in time the checkpoints are going to start getting whooped and there's a lot of ways to remove checkpoints and not a lot of ways to remove safe houses so keeping those cards there protects you to a certain extent not not always though zombie king usually has his say and if that happens you just lose everything uh, there are also some cards that are really really strong really really powerful but they're also easily dealt with. Now, when you play a two-player game of this, it works just fine. You kind of go back and forth up until the point where somebody's going to score seven, and it's, you know, it is what it is when it comes to a two-player take that style card game. But with more than two players, three, four, five, six, it's fun. I really enjoy it, those player rounds. I, I think I probably prefer it at four, maybe five, because then you're having choices as to whether or not you want to mess another player up or try and build yourself up. This reminds me of this old, uh, not old, but this other card game I was playing that has this, like, lawns and the garden gnomes and whatnot. You're trying to build your, your garden around these flowers but gnomes come and mess your stuff up this has that feel as well but it's with zombies and you're also building kind of this this railroad to freedom so to speak or whatever you want to call it bus to freedom uh, where you're traveling across these checkpoints and it's it's a nice little aspect to it now 
some of the cards, like I said, can be a little bit take that -y, but it never feels like you're completely going, ah, ah, there's no losing your turn in the game, which is nice, and you have enough options to where you can do whatever you want. For those of you who want a quick card game that has a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the different mechanics I've mentioned, this might be something for you. If you like the zombie theme, this is pretty cool, and I had a good time playing it. I mean, I definitely played against somebody asked me to play it. It's not something I jump on instantly because it's a little light for my taste, but it's not bad. It's something I enjoy, and with enough players, this game can be really fun. There's a lot of really cute different artwork in the game. If you like this style artwork, it's got a bunch of crazy like little cartoon zombies. The fact that they added different unique zombies to the deck, there's not a lot of duplicates. Only basically the only duplicates you're going to get are stuff like the checkpoints, but that actually can be good for you because it gives you bonus actions, as well as stuff like deny, cards that basically are what I call counter spells. They stop cards from being played. It's a nice little touch as well, but there's not too many where you're irritated by constantly not playing cards. Overall, OMZ is a fun little game. If you're interested in a family take that tableau management style game, one you should definitely check out down below. It'll be on Kickstarter. For those of you who want something a little bit more meaty, a little bit more engaging, and strictly speaking, so, like, like heavily strategic, this is not going to be the game for you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let me know if this is a game you'd be interested in, or if not, why not? All right, guys, let's go to the outro. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, go ahead and check it out down below. It's on Kickstarter as well as all of our stuff on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It does help. It greatly improves our ability to make more videos for, the, for you for the stuff like this. You like this kind of stuff. As well, let's take a look at OMZ, All My Zombies. It's currently on Kickstarter, and if you want a piece of that action, go ahead. It's got some crazy crazy cards that affect different things and whatnot. I think this is definitely one of those games that the kids are going to really dig. Also, check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, done the blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, and our friends at bigboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. They do a ton of great content in the giveaways as well. Our live streams every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST. We give away games straight up on that stream every week. Quite a few games, as well as play games just like this one on that stream. Also, if you're interested, I have a Patreon. We do uh, basically free, interesting tutorials, stuff like that. It shows you different things about game mechanics. And if you're interested in any of that kind of content, which is different than the stuff on YouTube, it's mainly geared towards my live streams people. But if you guys want it, you can go ahead and take a look down below in the description. I'll have my Patreon as well. Go ahead and support it. Even a buck is going to get you all the new content I produce once a week. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I look forward to running away from a bunch of crazy zombies while trying to uh, escape and gain checkpoints with you next time.